Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So Google has finally finished rolling out its spam update, even though the Marsh Core update is still running, the spam update has finished rolling out. Now, when Google says that the spam update has finished rolling out, it does not mean that if you have not been hit by the spam update yet, you're not gonna be hit at all. It just, it just means that they have updated the algorithm and during the process of updating their algorithm, there were a load of websites that were hit or they were either manually penalized or they were algorithmically penalized. But as we will continue to crawl the internet and there are new websites coming up every day, you know, you, if, you're, if you haven't been penalized yet, you could be penalized maybe next month, maybe two months from now, depending on what your website was created and when actually Google got down to crawling, indexing, and you're looking at your and examining the content on your website. So. There are a few things that I've learned from the spam update. There are a few things that I've found out during the spam update because some of, as I said, some of my test websites were hit. None of my clients' websites were hit, fortunately for me, because I just, I, I, I just have this idea that you know, none of my clients' websites should be experimental or I shouldn't be doing anything experimental on my client sites. But I do a lot of the experimental stuff on my a test website so I know exactly what's going on and so there are a few things a few things that I've noticed should that the spam update has done and I'm going to talk about that in this video you may find this useful even if you've not been hit by the spam update because this will help you maybe avoid a future spam update or a future core update and also keep in mind that the core update is running alongside this so you know just bear that in mind if you're if you don't meet the the criteria for what i've outlined here for the spam update you know, still does not mean that you're in the clear so let's jump into the video so the first thing i've noticed or the pattern i've noticed with the spam update is uh there's a sharp decline in traffic and so it's not like uh you know one day you or you know there's a gradual decline over the past 15 days since the spam update has been rolling out you're gonna see one day your traffic is okay or normal as it always has been and next day you will check and there's a sharp decline in your traffic that's so you're going to be probably going from a thousand clicks a day down to maybe a hundred clicks a day and that is how dramatic uh, the spam update is um that is a lot like the previous spam updates too so it kind of follows that pattern and so the first indicator is if you've hit by a spam update there's this drastic decline in your traffic that literally over overnight and so that's a hint that you have a spam update the second thing I also noticed with the spam update is that it's not hitting e-commerce stores. It's uh, not hitting um, uh, service-based websites. It's not, so if you're providing any kind of service on your site, whether you're a tour operator or a tour guide or a plumber or an electrician, um, you're not going to be hit. Um, or if you have seen a decline in your traffic, it's probably not because of the spam update. Uh, it's mainly informational sites that have been hit by the spam update and its informational sites that have a particular type of content, which brings me to the next point. So the type of content that's been hit is not low quality content. And so the misconception there is that the spam update is hitting low quality content. It's not hitting low quality content. It's hitting spammy content. And so spammy content is also low quality, but low quality does not mean um, that it's spammy. So you can have someone who is not a great writer, who is writing an, a, a good article, but it's at the end of the day, the article is low quality. The information is okay on the article, but you know the overall quality of the article is not great. It, or there are also no pictures in the article, and so it's just a wall of text. But it's walls of text of you know perfectly plausible information that's not well written. And that's not necessarily spammy content. So spammy content is also sometimes very well written as people now use AI to do that. And so it's spammy content that Google is hitting. And the way Google is now looking at spammy content, this is based on what I have seen with my spam, um, what I've seen with my test websites, which are also spammy, by the way. And so the first criteria is that the website has AI generated content. Now, again, I know I'm going to be dinged on this. People are going to be saying, you know, AI content does not mean low quality. I understand that. But if you're just copying and pasting like I was doing with AI content, then, you know, Google knows that it's AI content is not providing any value. The other thing that there are some subjects that Google sees as being spammy. So if you're like, 
you know, top five, top 10, top 20 kind of reviews or articles that you're doing, there's a good chance Google is going to ding you because most times those types of articles are spammy. Um, the other thing that I've seen is that a lot of these spammy articles, that I live my spammy articles, you know, let's just put it that way, had AI images in them. And so not only were the articles spammy, but there were like these AI images in them and then they were all hit. Uh, one, of my, one of my websites did pretty well with AI content and it didn't have any images on there. But as soon as the spam update hit, you know, it hit that website pretty hard. Went from getting like 600 clicks a day down to like maybe like 10, 12 clicks a day. And so that's also something to bear in mind is that there's a difference between spammy content and low quality content. And so you need to figure, you know, just look at what your content is. Is it, is it low quality or is it spammy? And that's something you need to determine. Um, the other thing I've seen that is if, if it's content that doesn't have a lot of internally built links to it or semantically relevant links built to it internally, there's a good chance it's going to be dinged by the update because Google, Google low spammy websites just cover a whole range of topics. And so there is no way to co cohesively or semantically link those topics. And so usually what SEOs will do is they'll, they'll put in a word and they'll just link to the other page and put in a few words and link to the other page. But usually those words are not relevant to the topic of the next page or the topic of the page and also not relevant to the overall context of the website. So right there, Google can tell that these are, this is a spammy website, it's, a, it's, it's, it's spammy content. So when you see something like that, you know, you have to figure out how to fix it. Usually nine out of 10 times is really hard to fix unless you come up with a cohesive overall strategy for your SEO. The next thing is again, you know, what I've seen is review sites have been hit probably the hardest. So whether you do movie reviews, whether it's uh, um, electronic reviews, whether it's reviews of games or whatever, if it's a review site and you're monetized with a MediaWine Raptor or, or any of these platforms, there's a good chance that you will be hit or you have already been hit because a lot of these review sites are kind of spammy and they're just review sites that are taking reviews from other sites and rewriting them. And if that's something a website does, it's a good up chance that you will be hit because that's uh, because, because after a few variations, it, those reviews kind of become spammy. And so if there are 500 websites writing the same review and there's nothing, you bring nothing new to the table, Google probably sees that as regurgitated content, spammy content. So ranking that kind of becomes hard unless you have a very high authority website. And even in that case, you know, it could still be hit. The final point here is speaking of authority, even if you have a high authority websites, there are pages within your website. If they are spammy, those pages, those specific pages will be hit. So the spam update doesn't just hit the entire website. It also has specific pages. So if you have maybe 10 or 20 pages that are spammy, those spam pages will lose traffic and your overall website may not be as affected if it's, if it's doing well. And so that you probably incentivize you to improve the quality of your content on those pages so that you don't have pages that are hit by the spam update. Again, the only way to do this is to do a content audit, to do a website audit, an SEO audit, whatever you like to call it. Get a website audit if you haven't audited your website in a, in a, in a long time especially if you've been hit by the spam update because the only way to figure out what's wrong with what's wrong with your site is to actually get it audited and figure it figured out so individual pages will have to be looked at to find out what pages have lost rankings and then why they've lost rankings and then how well you can do to recover their rankings because they can be various factors and also the fact that if you've been hit if you see that you've lost traffic you might assume that it's a spam update when it might probably be the core update or it might be maybe this is the september uh, update it might, it might be anything else so to so know for sure you just have to audit your site so you make sure that you're putting in the time to figure out exactly what's going on before you come up with a recovery strategy so guys i hope you like the video like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video